Okay, so you tell me, this is either a plot hole or it provides some pretty interesting insight. Here's the question. So you're telling me that all the time Vi's in prison, she never once hears about a blue-haired girl, Powder's age, who leaves calling cards like billboards painted all over every job she does in the exact art style of Powder, who invents things that blow up and calls herself by literally the last thing that Vi called her. Vi just missed that. She's there six years or whatever, surrounded by criminals who work for Soko, and that just never came up. She never heard anyone mention this person. Okay, so this bothered me at first, and I thought, maybe this is a plot hole, but then the more I thought about it, the more I realized, no, of course she heard about Jinx, but here's probably how she heard about her, and this is how my friend Katie put it. Soko's newest goon, Total Freak Show, explosives all over the place, there's an 85% greater chance you'll be shot by her over being shot by the enforcers, neither of which would be associated with a scared girl named Powder whose grenades did nothing. This is so far from the sweet little girl living in Vi's traumatized memory that it'd be basically impossible for her to make this connection. This is just another really cool, subtle insight that the writers left for us to see how Vi thinks and how memories kind of become idealized over time.